Have you ever had a problem in the shop that you just can't figure out? So you go to a coworker and you ask them and they can't figure it out. Next thing you know, half the shop is working on it and it becomes a race to find out who can solve the problem first so they can proudly say, I figured it out when none of you could. Most machinists I know are pretty competitive people by nature, so it makes sense that this happens. And generally, competition brings out the best in people, but there is a flip side to everything. So I used to work with this guy who did all the programming for our production department, among other things. And he came from an aerospace background and was very talented and knowledgeable. And as a young machinist, typically you love working under these kind of people because they have a wealth of knowledge and you can learn a lot from them, or so you think. When problems would come up in the shop that had us all stumped, they would typically be something like a weird alarm on a control or a post issue or maybe even a programming issue. So a few of us would be racing to see who could figure it out first and he would go into his office and shut the door and then come back out a short time later with a solution. And after the dust settled and everything was back up and running, I would ask him, hey man, thanks for your help getting that machine back up and running. How did you fix it? And he would just look at me and give me an awkward chuckle and then never answer my question or tell me how he solved the problem. At first I thought it was kind of weird and then I realized he doesn't want to share the solution because someone else will know what he knows and he's afraid at that point he will no longer be needed or won't be as valued anymore. And this is a sad reality that a lot of young machinists face and luckily for me, he was the outlier. I have worked with some extremely talented people and still do, and he is the only one I came across that downright refused to share the knowledge. Now, don't get me wrong. He by no means has to share what he knows with others. He has obtained his knowledge over years of experience, and I am not entitled to it whatsoever. Some people charge thousands of dollars to share what they know with others. But the flaw in his logic is that bringing others to greatness reflects positively on you, not negatively. And I am sure the company we worked for would have appreciated it if he would have helped to cultivate a stronger team by teaching the young machinists things they don't know. In fact, in today's workforce, I can think of very few things that are more valuable than a person that is willing and capable of teaching others. Luckily, I have had other mentors teach me skills that I can carry with me through my entire life. And now I can use those skills to provide for my family and help the company I work for to compete. I still to this day wish that coworker was willing to share his knowledge with me so I could share it with someone else down the road. If you have a young machinist that is hungry and wants to learn, teach them everything you know. You won't regret it. And at the end of the day, that is how we are going to inspire the younger generations to enter this trade. And that is how we are going to solve the skills gap and awareness gap that our industry faces. Thanks for watching. If you haven't been to our online Titans of CNC Academy, check it out to learn CNC machining for free. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything, ring that bell and we'll see you guys next time.